again. Time is 11.56 p.m. 4.66 miles of hiking, 2 hours and 36 minutes. And uh, after quite an arduous uh, trek through the forest, I made it uh, uh, back across the paved road. And now uh, heading south back toward the SUV parked down on Hawaii 137 now on an old uh, forest road with some abandoned uh, vehicles along the way uh, bizarrely uh, junked out back here in the forest take a look back at uh, Kilauea Volcano Fisher number 8 uh, the best view that I had was from like way down almost near where I started, ironically enough. Because up here there's just so many trees in the way, there hasn't been a clear uh, view. But uh, still pretty magnificent just to see the sky lighting up orange like that. You would think the sun had just gone down or something, but uh, nope, that's... Uh, as they say in Hawaiian, uh, Madame Pele at work, the uh, fire goddess. Okay, so from here it should be a pretty straightforward hike back down this trail about a mile and then a right turn and down another trail about a mile and a half, I think. Here are some of the uh, old junked out cars with the uh, vines growing all over them. It's really strange to see that back in here. There's a whole bunch of them. I think that's an abandoned uh, school bus maybe? And a toilet. And it looks like an old shack or something. I tell you, there's some really weird shit back in the woods here. It's a little creepy. Uh, the other letters of Toyota have been stripped away just to read Yo. Let's see. That car actually has a pretty visible license plate in November 2015. A uh, registration sticker and a vehicle inspection from May 2016. So that Ford is uh, not that old. Still has a Mountain Dew can in there. <laughs> kind of odd just to see that uh, left back out here with some much older abandoned vehicles. I just kind of wonder as. People are like, oh, I don't want to pay the cost of having my car removed to a scrapyard, so I'm just going to drive it back and abandon it in the forest. <laughs> so weird. All right, I think that's the last. Whoa, get a little muddy now of the uh, junked car. So it's probably the last footage that I'll take unless I get a really good view looking back uh, again at the Fisher from down below. Haven't come up that high in uh, altitude. Uh, let me check the altimeter real quickly here. Four hundred seventy-six feet here. So I probably got up to about six hundred, six fifty maybe. And I think the entrance to Lilani Estates where the fisher is up on the road above is about 900, so I'm guessing the fissure might be in the 800s or so. It's definitely still a couple hundred feet up from where I was. All right, well, uh, it is now Independence Day, July 4th, 2018. Just crossed midnight. So I'm going to uh, power walk down here and... Uh, and then it's still a lengthy drive cross island back to the Kona side. But it's been a fun, adventurous day, that's for sure.
then I'll probably do nothing tomorrow except go through all the pictures and videos from today. Spoke too soon, we got a few more junked vehicles down here. And I really have to wonder why there is this track through the forest here. But hey, it worked out to be a really convenient hiking trail for me. I only had to bushwhack uh, the last hundred feet. Oh, still another junked car back here. Oh, a whole bunch actually. Jeez, it's just crazy. <laughs> Don't they have like scrap yards on the island? And look at this, here's a bunch of old tires just stacked up. It's really awful to see that. Here's the view about three miles south of uh, Fisher 8. Twelve nineteen a.m. Trail junction, old uh, gate post there, all rusted away. This really mystifies me. What in the heck these old uh, trails are doing back here? I mean, they are convenient for my hiking, but it is a mystery. So the orange glow continues, and now I'm on the uh, home stretch. Heading uh, southeast, back to my rental SUV. It's 1.2 miles uh, direct, so on the trail it'll probably be about a mile and a half. And then uh, I'll have completed my volcano hike. Ew. Ugh. Quite interesting on the uh, final stretch of the hike down here to take a look at this uh, old popcorn lava and it almost looked like it's like covered in a dusting of snow with these like uh, I don't know mosses or lichens or whatever is growing on them really a uh, strange sight to be walking along and seeing which just looks like snow dusted rocks of lava. <laughs> turn back and look toward, uh, I shouldn't turn my headlight off until I'm actually stationary. <laughs> I turn back and look toward the uh, eruption and let me put the stick up in the air you can actually see a tower of flame coming out uh, just between the trees it's a better view from way back here than I had close up because it was too obscured by all the forest. Oh wow. I can really see it flaming up into the sky here. That's incredible. Uh, I hope you can make that out on the video. If not, just take my word for it. <laughs> Here's a great straight on view to the exploding lava through the trees here.
52 a.m. Uh, should be down to the last mile here and uh, starting to get some drizzle and I'm really starting to <laughs> wear out now uh, but still a phenomenal sight going on uh, back at Fissure 8 moon up there. About half a moon tonight. Press on the last mile here. Coming up uh, in one minute on midnight Lucas time, which means 16 hours since I woke up. So I uh, should be in bed getting ready to hit the lights out. And I still probably have about 25 or 30 minutes of uh, this hike to complete and then a two or so hour drive all the way back cross island to uh, where I'm staying in uh, Kihio uh, south of Kuleakona and uh, well, this uh, trail is not quite as uh, well tramped as the last one I was on so following the path is a uh, a little more challenging and it continues to be lined with the uh, white moss covered popcorn lava which uh, <laughs> even on the ground here it's just so funny because it just really looks like a dusting of snow <laughs> oh 110 a.m and hooray hooray i see the reflectors of my suv And I am coming out of the forest onto Hawaii 137. Woo! And there's the ocean right there, maybe a hundred yards in front of me. All right, Red Keeper. Oh, give us the totals here. Activity paused. Activity stopped. 7.29 miles hiked, 3 hours and 51 minutes moving, average speed 1.89 miles per hour. Well, I hope you enjoyed my hike to uh, 1.1 miles south of Kilauea Volcano, Fisher number 8 eruption. I'm now going to drive up and try and get on the north side of the eruption and see if there's any view from up there on my way uh, back to the west coast. <laughs>